This is Bobby Kraft coming to you live on SNN Live. I'm here at the Toronto Resource Investment Conference 2013. With me is John Burgess from Northern Free Gold Resources, symbol NFR on the TSX Venture and NFRGF on the OTCQX. John, welcome back to SNN Live. Bobby, it's a pleasure to see you again. How are you? Oh, I'm not too bad. How about yourself? Well, we're doing well, despite the markets, which could be better, but yeah. uh, overall the company's doing well. Perfect. So expand on that a little bit because it's been a couple months since we yeah, last sure. talked to you. So, uh, but just a reminder, so Northern Free Gold is a, um, is a publicly traded company you know, based in Vancouver. We've got two principal properties. Uh, we've got a gold uh, Canada mm -hmm. uh, and we have a smaller uh, project down in Arizona called Burrow Creek. It's in Mojave County, which is a good uh, jurisdiction to be uh, in. Um, it's about 20 kilometers to the west of the big copper uh, mine, the Baghdad mine owned by Freeport. So, you know, in good, two, two good jurisdictions, politically safe. Mm -hmm. Um, the company's uh, got a market cap of about $8 million. Uh, we've uh, already found two very large deposits on the property in the Yukon, nucleus and revenue. Mm -hmm. And in total, there's about 3 million ounces of, uh, of gold there. Uh, we've also got a fair amount of copper and molybdenum silver, which about doubles the overall resource. So, you know, substantial um, uh, metal in the ground already found. Uh, the property we have in the Yukon is is big. It's 200 square kilometers, and we think we've got a big district scale system there. And uh, we've uh, the other key attribute we have on that property is it's uh, road accessible. So it's about four hours drive from Whitehorse. So when you're operating in the north of Canada, you want to be uh, in an environment where you can actually get. Uh, you want the infrastructure. You want the infrastructure. You want to be able to get your drills in and out. You want to have access to you know assay labs and things like that by road. So you know for us, uh, the fact that we can drive in and drive off the property keeps our operating costs down very low. So one big theme at this conference that I've been noticing and, and been hearing is the fact that people are looking at domestic. Yep. They want to find projects that are Canada, US, Mexico. You know, do you find yourself at an advantage because of them? Well, you know, I think increasingly uh, in the last two years you've seen this big trend around the world which is, you know, resource nationalization, resource confiscation. Uh, and it, it happens in, in several ways, you know, it could just be uh, changes to the tax regimes or the royalty structures uh, that hurt companies that are operating, that have got mines that are operating, or, or you see it, you know, to the fullest extent as you've seen recently in, in company, you know, countries in, in South America and uh, in Africa and actually in Eastern Europe where literally projects that were going forward got nationalized or got taken over and you know, effectively expropriated. So. What are investors? What are they thinking about? You know, the big black swan risk on a mining project, which has got you know maybe 20 to 30 years from discovery through to you know when you're getting your all your cash flow back, is you know what's the risk of that of that property being nationalized or confiscated over that 20, 30 year period? And I think investors are increasingly realizing that you know to be operating in a jurisdiction like uh, the Yukon in Canada, you know, or in Arizona, those are Pretty low risk places where you know you mining friendly, mining friendly, certainty of property ownership, certainty of, of rules and regulations, mm -hmm. and um, you know I think increasingly we're going to find, I and mean, you are finding, the majors are coming back to um, North America, mm -hmm. and and you're seeing uh, we'll see I think a renewed investment in, uh, emphasis on those safe jurisdictions, you know to the um, you know uh, everyone talks about some of the some of the wonderful opportunities you see in places in West Africa, but you know. You know, what's the risk of that being expropriated over 30 years? It's fairly high. So um, let's get back to your projects real quick. Sure. What do you guys expect to have, uh, you know, going into the this last quarter of 2013 well, and into 2014? Yeah, so let me talk about the, uh, the the field work program we've been doing on the two properties. So we uh, completed some work on uh, the Arizona property. Uh, we'll be uh, publishing some results fairly shortly on that, but we're very pleased with, um, you know, what we set out to do there and objectives there. It's a small, it's a small project, but nonetheless, it's an attractive one. Uh, our, our key project is the one in the Yukon, and uh, we've just uh, finished uh, work on that mm -hmm. and we did a pretty extensive program looking at uh, some of the higher grade zones so on, on, on the uh, free gold mountain project we've got these two big deposits uh, but we were focusing on some higher grade uh, showings 
uh, that we actually haven't been uh, looking at for about five years. There are a few kilometers to the uh, east of the revenue deposit and we've been doing a lot of uh, uh, trenching and soil sampling and mapping and uh, you know we're as I just finished it very encouraged by what we uh, achieved and what we're beginning to see so uh, you know don't have any results back or anything like that but over the next couple of months we're expecting to be putting out some results from that program. Perfect and where could our investors you know our investor audience go and find out more information. Sure. So we've uh, we obviously got a website, um, www.northernfreegold.com. Um, there's a lot of information about the the two properties. Uh, the 43101 technical reports are all there, so investors can see, you know, all of the uh, uh, resources. And um, uh, happy to have any follow-up conversations with uh, anyone. My uh, information's on the contact page of the website. And uh, well, thank you for your time. That's perfect. This has been Bobby Kraft, and I'm live here on SNN Live at the Toronto Resource Investment Conference 2013. With me again is John Burgess from Northern Free Gold Resources, Symbols, NFR on the TSX Venture, and NFRGF on the OTCQX. John, thank you again for coming Great. back on SNN Live. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.